Hope you enjoyed today's watching. I'm sorry I've been so far behind. Just that I've been a bit empty-headed with some of my stuff lately. Uh, hope you enjoyed this is Subtle My Eyes. Give you my latest review on Dragon Ball Super. The last three episodes. Episode 13, episode 14, episode 15. Uh, I'm going to talk about the first, uh, which was basically the conclusions to the Battle of Gods. Like, Goku, like, he and Beerus, they literally went all out. So all out that they literally decided to fade the universe. Like every time these two people, these two beings literally clash, Ash, Ash, they literally, literally just tore the universe apart. Like, right, the, the universe was literally going to fall apart. They didn't do that in Battle of Gods, the movie, yeah, because this was different. It was very, very different. I mean, it's, yeah, even though, even though Dragon Ball Super is basically retelling Battle of Gods, it, it's proving that it can stand on its own two feet. With some of the ways that it's telling the story. And the way the fighting is, the action, the progression. It reminds me of Dragon Ball Z back in the old days. Back in the 90s, you know. Back in the old days when I grew up, you know. They had these long battles that lasted for episode, Lasted basically half the season. Season and boom. When you get these epic moments. Like, like, these were some of the things that I liked. They basically coveted most of the show. I mean, the fighting, the action pack. And they proved it. Even though some of these fighting were, or you know, a bit comedic, and some were a little hilarious, you know, some funny moments, but that's understandable if you if you know what where it's coming from. I like how when how when Goku every time he keeps going, he keeps getting knocked down, he keeps getting back up, and Beerus, even though Beerus, he's seemingly unstoppable. Basically, he always. He is the strongest. He keeps humoring Goku. He keeps trying to ask him to push his limits because Beerus wants to show that he wants to use all of his power to show him that he is a god of destruction. I mean, I mean, you're basically having a guy who who's battled two battles between a guy with no limits, who's basically a, who is a god, and a man who is a mortal well, who breaks every limit that seems to come his way. This is something, and this is not just my response. This is a concept from. All the other reviewers, anybody here who's seen, like any other reviewers you probably know about, who are probably fans, as of there's the world, uh, seven. These guys are basically some of the kings of anime and manga reviews. Like basically, these are the kings, and these are and these are just in my opinion. These are probably there. They agree with me. They'll probably agree with me too. I like how they came and they kept stifling back and forth. How Goku. He seems to be. He seems to have lost some of the of the Super Saiyan God power. But but like in the movie, even though he's lost the power to transform, some of it still remains in his system. That he's adapt. That his power has his body has adapted to the change. And we got to see in Resurrection F. He's found need to adapt into that power completely, but in its own, but in a different way. And we know. We know. We we know that that is Super Saiyan. They're not calling it Super Saiyan Blue. Uh, if you guys have not heard the recent rumors, uh, that it's been officially confirmed as Super Saiyan Blue. Not God, you know, because it's like Super Saiyan mixed with some of the Super Saiyan God. It's better than calling it Super Saiyan God, Super Saiyan and God form, which some of the people have been calling it because that's a mouthful. But Super Saiyan Blue sounds a whole lot shorter and it's a lot easier to say. Hey, hey, I liked how every like on this battles like. Uh, they came back over and over again. Like Goku, he kept trying I mean, to face Beerus. Even when he was about to fall to his death. Like he was about to collapse like, from the pain. About to collapse from fighting against a, man, a being who is literally the strongest. He wants to prove that he can compete with the strongest. I mean, Goku was the one who basically basically asked him to fight the first time. And, and the first fight, he got, his, he got mopped the floor with. He literally... He got taken out with just two hits. And, and that was apparent in the anime, too. And not just in the movie, in the anime. Although, in the, in the anime, it was a little different. Yeah, but this is a lot more. Uh, I liked uh, like this. I really did like it. Like how they took it, and they took it in their own unique way. Hey, all the fighting, how the energy blast, how Beerus kept launching his final attack. Goku took that blow. Oh, and, and literally destroyed. He found a way to cancel it out, even though it wasn't as epic as it was in Battle of Gods, uh, as he tra as he transformed once again into the God mode, uh, and literally dis he disrupted the energy from the inside. It's he seemed to he seemed to in, in, in spite of that he seemed to took the force of that attack 
but he didn't do do it in the you know, in a way. I, it's trying to even though it's trying to retell, even though it is what happened in Battle of Gods, they're retelling it and they're trying to make it a standalone story from Battle of Gods. If you guys don't know about standalone our storytelling is from stand owning and separate ideas you guys need to look up some more anime adapted ideas like for example about the attack on titan movies kind movie baruto oh oh naruto the last movie last movie uh, uh man like now a road to ninja basically if you guys understand that well you guys understand it i mean and we're talking about a good show a very good series but if you if you're understandable then it's understandable Anyway, given the conclusion, I I deem this I deem those two episodes as worthy of Battle of God, even though I would have liked to see a little more dramatic stuff. It was great. I like how some of the funny moments, how certain moments, things were a bit, you know, they took things seriously. Like for example, Hercule, Mr. Satan or Hercule offered Weeks a all you can eat coupon uh, if he asked him to stop the fight between Beerus and Goku. Because so, Beerus he loves food and so does Weeks. I think between the two of them, they both have big appetites for being, you know, gods. Uh, Beerus is a god, but we don't, we still don't know what the hell we said, even though he's supposed to be something else. Oh, but he's just a being known as Weiss. That's what he said. And I think he's a god too, but I don't, but why he chooses to serve Beerus and doesn't go solo is beyond me. Hell, he knocked Beerus. Oh, that's, that part's understandable. Well. I liked how Gohan he tries to take things seriously in these in these episodes. In the last two episodes, that was how now that Fidel is pregnant, he wants to be more of a man. He wants to stick up. He wants to take care of his wife and for, and for his future daughter Pan. And even and it's a, it's good like he's trying to step up. But everybody knows that we all we all miss tough Gohan, Mystic Gohan, Super Saiyan Gohan, uh, nerdy Gohan just sucks. Because I'm saying it out loud for any fans of Go Dragon Ball Z, if you guys all agree with me. Dirk Gohan sucks. And some guy even did some bit did in Dragon Ball, in the, in the Dragon Ball uh, AF fantasy anime where he, uh, where he uh, made Gohan go Super Saiyan 4. And that looked a lot better. Even though it's not canon to the original story, it looked a lot better than what we got from Gohan lately. A lot better. It has to be... He no Gohan in that idiot in that ridiculous tracksuit in in Resurrection F. Super Saiyan Four Gohan looked way better, definitely. And he has to and something he has the potential for Super Saiyan Three. But enough about that. And the situation is this, especially in the last episode. This the last episode was basically a Hercule Mister Saiyan episode. Basically, him tried him tried to take all the credit for Goku defeating Beerus. And calling himself a god, but that's the problem with Gertio and lies. You see, when you start to say lies and you start to talk too much about them, eventually they're gonna catch up to you and you're gonna get in trouble. And things start to go very, very soft for, uh, for Hercule. Oh, has things start to go bad? For 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 one example, Apple, you got this group of aliens who wants to pay their respects to the man who defeated Beerus. Even though Goku was the one did it, and he didn't even defeat Beerus, it was just more like a he was the, he was he fought a toe to toe with Beerus, but he didn't kill him or defeat him. He just stood on toe to toe as an equal. Oh, as for for Satan, he trouble. He even asked Goku to try to bail him out of trouble. Oh, but things don't go so well for him. And and when I was and when the fight was about to begin, how it was about to begin, like you know. At the beginning, Satan was about to land a punch, but I doubt he would have stood a chance against that alien dude. How the dude was scared by a dog. <laughs> the alien guy was some kind of cat guy, and he was some kind of cat lion dude, and he was scared of dogs. Seriously, it's a, it's a bit funny. If you, oh wait, I know there's a lot more comedic stuff in there, but I'm not gonna spoil too much of it because this is like major spoiler alert, Man, and I'm not trying to give. The details. Anyway, this the last episode was basically a Mr. Satan episode. Oh, uh, especially when, especially when mostly comedic, especially when Chi Chi tried to give Goku to go get a job. Especially now uh, that even though even though she even though he collected a whole bunch of a whole lot of money from Mr. Satan and from Hercule earlier, Chi Chi still wants him to get a job because now, because uh, now that Videl is pregnant, she wants 
she wants her grandchild to know that her grandfather isn't just a deadbeat loser who just train does nothing but train all day and doesn't work work for money. And that's what Chi Chi thinks. She doesn't think of her as a loser, but she doesn't want her she doesn't want her grandchild to think her her grandpa doesn't work. So that makes sense. So oh, it's understandable. Anyway, the whole the whole I think the first two episodes was awesome. The last one was kind of comedic. It was definitely what you expect from from the Dragon Ball Z universe. And from and from Dragon Ball Super, especially when you're getting word that Champa, uh, and what is this kind of universe sticks, makes the, the other god of destruction, and it's gonna be some kind of battle royale tournament, and even though Champa and and Beerus are not gonna get involved, all uh, of and certain details are in order, order and certain and there's a lot more that's going to happen and something and some say that there's doubtful they're going to do the whole resurrection f thing thing but it would be cool to see that in the anime too resurrection f yeah, cuz it's good it's good that that we got to see some of that you have to see some of that but no anyway that's all my opinion on the subject i know i've been lacking the past couple of days but i'm glad but i hope you understand what I'm coming from i've been a bit brain dead and feeling depressed i didn't go to comic con even though i would have met yeah, Mashashi Kishimoto and Shion G7, but and that's just me being an idiot. And but that's selfish. Anyway, that's all I gotta say. What did you think of it? Did you like hate it? What did you think of the video? Did you like it? Did you hate it? Did you of this video? Did you like it? Hey, did you hate me? Hey, did you like me? Whatever. Just give me a comment. Give me your opinion. What do you think? And the last three episodes were pretty good. The, and from what I see next, it looks like Vegeta is making sure on his promise he's not gonna fall behind Goku. Who now has the power of a god, uh, and he wants to attain the power of a god by himself without virtually any help. It's just Vegeta. As it, if Vegeta does have anything that matters to him the most, other than his care, feelings for Bulma and his family, it's one thing that he has: his pride as a Saiyan. That's one of the things that makes Vegeta, you know, such a, you know, such a worthy character. And you know, that's it. Anyway, that's all I gotta say. Hope you enjoyed this. Friend, comment, subscribe. Thank you, this summer. I'll give my latest review on episode 13, 14, and 15 of Dragon Ball Super. Bye. Crazy. Definitely crazy.